Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's start designing a banner. First thing I want to do, though, is close out this document that we just started and open one using our templates. So, new from template, 4x10, assign it the Adobe RGB 1998 working space. Now, normally what I do when I open a new file up, just to avoid confusion, is I turn the comments layer off while I'm drawing things. All right, so with that done, what I want to do is to make a yellow banner with a one inch, excuse me, a one and a half inch inset border. And to do that, let me show you. Get you the rectangle tool, make sure smart guides are turned on, and the keyboard shortcut for that is Control U. Toggles it on and off with Control U. That makes it easy to grab a corner. So click and drag to the opposite corner. And to verify that you have a 48 inch by 120 inch rectangle here, go to the transform palette and you can see, yes, that is what we just drew. All right, let's close that. Let's make the background color yellow. Let's make the stroke black. Now this is a special rich black that uh, we made for the Rocket Banner Company. It prints real nice on our machine. That's another good reason to use our template. Now, <clears throat> Let's make the stroke one and a half inches. Type in 1.5 IN, hit enter. Now, what we have here is a one and a half inch stroke that is stroked on the middle of the path. Unfortunately, half of that stroke now lies outside of the artboard. So, this half of that stroke is not going to print, but we can easily fix that in Adobe Illustrator CS3 by stroking only the inside of the path. And that's this button right here. So let's do that. That fixes that problem. Now hit Control-0. It's a keyboard shortcut to put the entire artboard um, on the drawing area. So now we can see the whole thing. Now we're going to inset that path or stroke. In this case, we're going to inset the stroke, ladies and gentlemen. There's a little play on words here because well, let me show you. Go to the Appearance Palette. I have mine set up to be over here. You may have to go to the Window menu and call it up. But anyway, go to the Appearance Palette and then select this stroke. Okay? And then go to the Effects menu. Go to Path. Go to Offset Path and type in negative 1 IN for inch. Now let's preview that. Now what it's going to do is not actually offset the path but offset the stroke because we have stroke highlighted here in the appearance palette. Let's preview it. There you go. Perfect. An offset stroke, offset from the path, one inch. Click on OK. Close that palette down. And there we have the beginning basis for a nice banner. We'll continue with the next lesson. Just click on it.